I will say this, change will only happen when change actually happens. You have to work on yourself daily. Every stop allowing fear to stop you. You have to break that barrier and break that chain, Abby. And do this for yourself. Work on you for you. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're already part of the tribe. Today we're going to talk about five things to tell yourself when you're feeling insecure. The first thing I find is the most important thing and that's to tell yourself, remind yourself as many times as you need to that there's no such thing as perfectionism. There's no such thing as you being perfect. Just stop. Stop trying to be perfect. Stop trying to live, build on, and create a perfect life that will not ever exist. What is that anyways? What's being perfect? In my opinion, that means that you are beautiful, you are smart, you're intelligent, you're the best employee, you're the best mom, the best daughter, the best wife, the best human being ever. Everyone likes you, everyone thinks you're amazing, and everybody else thinks you're perfect. Hear me out for a second. If not everyone likes peaches, if everyone has different tastes, if not everybody likes everything, how do you think that you can have a perfect life when other people don't think that you have a perfect life? Because not everyone will agree that you have a perfect life and your life is perfect. I'm not making it about others. I'm just saying in order for you, most people, in order for you to feel like your life is perfect, others have to agree, give you that validation and make you feel like your life is perfect. So one way or another, you do need other people to make you feel and give you the approval that you need to feel that like your life is perfect. Your life is not perfect. Your life is not meant to be perfect. And it's okay to be imperfect. Life is about learning and evolving. Allow yourself to grow, flourish, evolve. Life is about falling, not succeeding, tripping, everything all at once sometimes. And that's what life is about. And that is what you will experience at some point in your life. Unfortunately, that's the truth. That's what life is about. And funny enough, that is when you grow the most. That is when you learn the most. When you do fail. Fear it's not reality. Living in fear will keep you stagnant. Now I'm gonna say this again because this is very important. This is something that I had to tell myself many many times and there's still times when I do still till today that keeping and maintaining yourself in that stage where you just full of fear that you don't allow yourself to progress and move forward, you will always remain in the same place if you allow it to. Stop allowing fear to stop you. You have to break that barrier and break that chain. Fear is only a cloud. It's trying to cloud your judgment and trying to stop you from moving forward by clouding your vision and you get thrown off and you don't know where you're going. Don't allow it to. It's okay to acknowledge that fear is there. And let me tell you something, fear is always going to be there. What changes is the way you perceive fear, how you see fear. You don't have to see fear as your enemy. Fear just makes you human, right? You're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of what could go wrong. Admitting, acknowledging that it's there. Hey, I see you, but you're not stopping me here today. You're not stopping me ever. I'm going after what I want. Fear is another way of acknowledging that there's no such thing as perfect, right? You know there's no such thing as perfect. You know that things can go wrong, may go wrong. That's why fear is sometimes in us, within us, in our minds. But that doesn't mean it should stop you. And unfortunately, fear doesn't go away as you progress and as you succeed in life. It's always present almost always when you pay attention to it because that's the thing if you focus solely on the fear that you feel then you will never get anywhere but knowing that that fear is there um making yourself aware that that fear you know you feel a little scared of what can happen or how things may go wrong it's fine it is what it is not allowing it to stop you from getting to your next stage in your life but right because we succeed we get to one stage and we will want more we want to keep succeeding keep growing and keep evolving fear should not stop you and fear does not stop 
even when you continue leveling up and evolving. If your insecurity has anything to do with anyone that is outside of you, whether it is a family member, a friend, someone you've dated, someone you're currently dating, I want you to know and always remember that the right people will love you and accept you just the way you are. If you find yourself chasing people, and by chasing, I want to be very clear because I want you to fully understand what I'm trying to say. By chasing, I mean calling, texting, DMing on Instagram, or reaching out to them at any other social media or any other way, and this person is not responding to you. They're not answering your calls, your text messages. They're not writing back to you. This is how you're chasing someone. So now that we're on the same page and you know what I mean when I say chasing, if you find yourself chasing someone, then this person is not the right person for you. Whatever it is that you do in this relationship and, and for someone else, you should be receiving it back. That should be reciprocated right back to you. And if you're not, then this person is not the right person for you. If it's not being done for you two, then what are you doing? If it's a friend, then you're being what? A therapist for them? Because you're not getting any return, right? You're just being there for them. If it's a romantic relationship, then you're just, just having a, a sexual relationship, yet yeah, that person is not being there for you, then that's all you're being for them. What's really happening? If you're not receiving what it is that you give and what you deserve, what's happening? These are the questions that may be so hard to, to, you know, just even ask yourself and answer for yourself because you know the answer and you know the answer hurts. But I want you to know that the pain is only temporary and that it's easier and faster and better for you, healthier for you, for you to realize things now, not later on when days, weeks, months go by, even years go by and you have been catching on to this, yet you choose not to do something about it. When you're feeling insecure and having these insecurities about yourself, always remember that you can accept yourself just the way you are while still working on changing and improving the parts that you wish to change and improve. Totally okay to not feel 100% and completely happy with parts of you. After all, we're not perfect, right? However, I have to mention that it is important for you to accept yourself. When you don't accept yourself and also uh, feel insecure about yourself, then that's just something that's going to completely destroy you. You know, accepting yourself and working on yourself is how you work together with your own self, with your mind, your body to actually make yourself, you know, grow and feel better about yourself, grow as a person, become a better version of yourself and feel good about yourself. I will say this, change will only happen when change actually happens. You have to work on yourself daily, every single day. You have to work on yourself every single day so that this particular thing, this particular change that you want to incorporate in your life becomes a habit. You have to commit. Truly commit to make yourself happy and do this for yourself. Work on you for you. That is all for this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate you and I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for all of the support. Thank you for all the likes, all the comments, absolutely everything. If you did like this video, then don't forget to like it. Give me a big thumbs up. Show me that you actually liked it. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. What were you thinking while you were watching this video? And subscribe if you're not already part of the tribe. It is free after all and you can always change your mind. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.